this is Rick from hikingemergencybeacon.com and I'm here at Lost Lakes. There's uh, three lakes up here and it's the Lost Lakes Trail, I believe. It's about 30 minutes west of Crested Butte, Colorado. And I'm trying out my uh, new Divi Stick Blue right here. And I've got my trusty Garmin InReach Mini, which works fantastic. But um, I'm gonna have to come back out and try the Bivy Stick Blue again because I use the iPhone 11 to sync to it and it wouldn't sync out here um, without me hitting the power button. But when you hit the power button, um, it's different from the old iPhone 11s. And so I've got to go back and do a little more research about how to sync my uh, Bivy Stick Blue to my iPhone 11. Um, so there's going to be uh, updates, more updates and uh, different videos in the future. I just thought I'd start with this one and let you know that you always need to test these before you go out and it's good to maybe not get too far out and have big plans and, and then it doesn't work so uh, just a heads up and i'll be back with more on the bivy stick blue later okay i'm back at the house after being out in the mountains for a little bit and testing the um the bivy stick blue and um so i'm outside and uh, you might hear a little noise here and there but that's okay uh let's, let's just get this wrapped up so here's my Garmin InReach Mini, and uh, it right now it is my go-to satellite messenger, and I keep testing others, see if they'll beat them, and uh, what what's good about the other satellite messengers, and, and every satellite messenger is, um, has a lot of value and is really good. Uh, they're just good for certain things. So here's the Bivy Stick Blue. I've got it tethered to my backpack, and I put it inside the sleeve. It's really small. It's so both of these uh, the, um, satellite messengers are small. This, uh, this Bivy Stick Blue has several different uh, buttons on it. Here's the power button, here's the check-in button. Down the bottom, uh, there's a place here for you to charge. And then you got the SOS button. And um, anyway, those are the buttons on it. It's not, uh, if you don't sync it with your phone, it's uh, you can't do a lot with it. But you can check in and you can hit the SOS button so there are some nice things about just having a standalone if you don't want to do anything else with it so um, I'll just, just sit it right here for right now but I want to show you the app this is how you control it on the Bivy Stick app it's called Bivy 6 and so the first thing I always do on this and I'm not sure how well you can see it but right down here there's a home page map uh, icon stick messages and profile so the first thing I do is I always go and see if it's connected, which right now it's not. So let's see about connecting it. So what you're supposed to do, well, of course it's not connected. I haven't turned it on. What you're supposed to do is, uh, you, of course, under settings, you got to make sure your Bluetooth is on. And uh, right now my GoPro is connected. But then at the instructions say you well, hold down on the power button for like two seconds. When you do that, there's a green light that comes on here, shows power's on. Here's a light here. This shows the signal strength. Right now it's green. When it comes on, it's, it's red, and then if it, it'll be yellow if you don't have a lot of satellites. It's connecting to, but it's green, so we've got a lot of uh, satellites in the, in the area. All right, so it uh, doesn't show it's connected here, but when I go back to the Bevy Stick app, you can connect, click, uh, uh, hit the stick button. Sometimes uh, when it says connect baby stick, and I'm using the iPhone 11, it gives me issues because it says hit the power button or hold the power button down. But when you hold the power button down, it, it, it doesn't operate the same way as the older uh, iPhone 11. So what I typically do here is I will get rid of the app and I'll start it up over again. All right, so we're gonna go back into the baby stick app and we hit the stick again and see here it says disconnect so it is connected and uh, so at the home page there's a lot of different things you can do here there's messages check-in even though you can do messages SOS and, and all that down here at the bottom you can also it's real quick links up here SOS share my location there's um, here's a new adventure your start tracking so if you want to go out and you're on a trail and you want to see exactly where you went you can uh, start tracking from there there is, uh, you can view offline maps here. And there's community, waypoints, weather. You can get weather, but the one thing about the Bivy Stick is, depending on what subscription you have, you get certain credits. And every time you check weather, it takes, I, I believe it's two credits. 
So anyway, here's settings, and then here's uh, down here is nearby adventures. So what I do on this here, and, and everybody uses things differently, okay? So, you know, it's uh, all these reviews, just keep in mind, I'm not trying to be scientific about these reviews. I, I, I try them out and I test them for how I use them, what I like. So keep that in mind. Uh, this is, I'm not being an expert on all the satellite messengers. So once I know the stick is connected, I'll go to my map. And uh, right now, of course, I live in Perry Park. And you can see on this map, um, there's, a, there's some really nice things about it, honestly. You can see different trails. There's Dawson's Butte. There's uh, Palmer Lake down here, Monument and all that. And it shows trails. It doesn't just only show trails. It can show you know bike trails, uh, kayaking, rivers, uh, campgrounds, all that. You can go in and filter. And I know the sun's shining here. You may not be able to see it, but there, I'll have some links to some still images where you can see it all. But under here, like I, I do a lot of hiking, so there's filtered by, so you go to trails, and you can say, so hiking right there, so there's hiking, and you can say the quality of them, and there's different things here, permit required, waterfall, coastline, you can select these different filters, but all I really want is the hiking, I don't care about the rest of it, and of course the quality, I'll, I'll decide that on my own. So when you're done with that, you just hit the X at the top here you hit this button at the top and it turns off all those uh, markers and then that button right here the second one down zooms in on your location down here in the middle you have the tracking button and uh, so you can hit track when you start uh, on a hike this button right here is offline maps so you can download maps and view them when you're offline but when you're out and about um, this this bivy stick actually connects to satellites uh, and so you can look at these maps anywhere you go there's some also some things you can do here you can uh, that was topo topography you can do a hybrid and it does uh, I think some roads uh, plus the uh, aerials and then you can also do just satellite and it depends on what you're wanting I'll switch back and forth between them but I typically like to keep it on topography Anyway, there you go. That's uh, so. If I zoom in right here, you can see there's a lake here. There's roads, and um, you know I'm not sure if this shows the trails. I'm gonna go over to another area where Dawson's Butte is. I know there's trails there, and so if I zoom in real close, it does show a trail. So I'm gonna take a still image of this. And I'll be able to show it to you in more detail uh, on the video. But uh, anyway, there's the trail. There's the trail that splits off here a couple different places. You can click on that map. And so here's Dawson's Butte Open Space Ranch. And so it tells you a little bit about it. It tells you it's 4.9 miles. It is 3.9 miles away. It gives you the how you know the the ranking. It's a three out of five. And there's a couple things about it that like you can take a picture here and all that but um, it, it, it gives you a map of the location which is fine um, I really don't need that map of the location because what, what it'll do is if you've got multiple spots out here it will actually show you different trails and so you can well here is it's giving you more information already right here and uh, it totally gives a description, adventure, uh, adventure features, and it's uploaded by. Uh, so there's several, several different things. It tells you it's moderate. It takes about 2.46 hours uh, to hike this trail. And it also gives you a profile here. So I've been on this trail several times. Several times. It's a gradual down, and then when you do it, it's a loop. And when you come back up, you're, you're coming back up to the trailhead. But it's a real gradual hike. It's a good trail. So just wanted to show you that. Uh, wants me to rate it, but I'm not going to rate it at this point. Let's go on to some other things real quick. Let's do the messages. So, I've done several test messages already. You would have seen some of these I've taken pictures of. Didn't really make a, a video of them. But I sent some to myself. I sent some to my daughter and a friend of mine. And and then I tried sending messages from my Baby Sick Blue to my Garmin Enrich Mini. And I'll just tell you right now. And I'll show some images of, of what happened. When I initiate messages from my Bivy Stick Blue to my Garmin, it doesn't work. Not sure why. But when I initiate messages from my Garmin to my Bivy Stick, 
it works but I have to initiate it from the Garmin then I can in, uh, message back and forth the conflict I have with this is if somebody who has a bivy stick wants to message me they can't do it like I would have to go on a hike if I knew somebody else had a different device I would have to periodically message them so if they wanted to, if we wanted to talk then then I would have to initiate it that's something I really don't like and but what does work really well if I if I send a message from my bivy stick blue to any phone number then they can message me. I've done it with my son and my daughter and my friend and checked it out so it works well going to a, a, a regular phone. But just to let you know in between satellite messengers you really want to test these out because if you want to communicate with other people on the trail and they've got a satellite messenger you need to make sure you know how to communicate before you get it out into the mountains. Now just to give you another heads up too it takes somewhere between three and five minutes for these messages to go back and forth and it's not fast you gotta be patient but at least you have a way to communicate when you're out in the mountains. Something else you've got here is uh, up the top, you, this little pen uh, button here. That you know, use that to write the message, and and then there's the mail. You can check uh, all my messages show up right here, and then you've got a profile, so it gives some information. Um, I really don't use that, but maybe you know I will at some point. It has different friends and all that, but uh, that's not really something I use. So back at the home page. If uh, again, if you want to send a message, check in, you can do it all from here. And then they've got these offline maps and all that. So there's a lot of different things here right at your fingertips. And uh, let me go back real quick here. Down here it says nearby adventures. So this is kind of cool. Um, here's a mount, uh, mount uh, well, I can't even read it. The sun's in my eyes. Here's the West Ridge Trail. So if I click on it, it actually zooms in to where the rest West Ridge Trail is. And uh, then I can go hike it. So this is this has got some uh, advantages from other uh, uh, other satellite messengers where it'll actually show. Like I said uh, just a bit earlier, it shows campgrounds. It'll show. I don't think it shows restaurants, but it'll show trails, rivers, kayak places to kayak, mountain bike, and all those things. And uh, it's really pretty pretty darn handy. And so the only thing I haven't seen on here, I, I don't think you can do it, uh, but I could be wrong, and if I am, uh, leave a comment and let me know. But you, you know, like say on the Garmin, I can go into the Garmin and I can lay out a specific trail I want to take, and I could put points of interest in places. If I've been on it before, I can put points where you know I, I know I want to camp, or to, you know there's a photo opportunity. And, uh, and then when I'm on the trail, then I can actually use that and uh, put points down um, that say, you know, hey, this is a great place to camp, whatever. This one, uh, you can do that. You can put points down, but you, I have not seen where you can actually go in on a map ahead of time and place your trail. You know, because sometimes you want to maybe go on two or three different trails or you want to go on part of a trail. This has shows all the different trails, which is incredible, and it's a really good map. But it doesn't have some of the things that I like to do prior to going on the, on the hike. So that's kind of it. You know, it's um, I've been testing it. I think I've been out about three times with it. I, I really like it. It's really small. It's lightweight, and uh, again, some you know, like the some of them are bigger, and you know they're on their pack. This one here, I don't even, it doesn't even realize it's on my pack because especially with, uh, with, with this uh, pack I've got here, which is an Osprey, Osprey Talon 22 is what it is, it slides right into that pouch and I don't even realize it's there. I turn it on, hit the trail, and I've got all this app, all, all this, uh, all this at my fingertips from messages to SOS to the maps and um, all different points of interest well, like I said whether it's campgrounds or rivers etc so it's a uh, it's a really good device I, I like it a lot and I I'm not I'm not here to ra I didn't I don't want to rank in this video you know compare it to the Garmin because I, it's just a great device all by itself and Bivy Stick has come out with a new one now because they combined or they bought out a ACR I believe it is and so it's an orange color or yellow and um, so it's brand new. I, I will be getting that and testing it, but it's probably similar. It probably hasn't changed. Just uh, it's just a marketing issue. And uh, again, it's uh, it's a really good device. It's easy to set up. Now I will let me uh, let me throw in the whole setup issue here too. 
you have to go through a setup process where you actually put in your information, you know, um, contact, uh, emergency contacts, your address, all that. And then you do have to pick a, uh, a, a subscription. It's not, there's no annual contract, but you have to pick a subscription. I picked one that was $14.99, and it's for one month, and you only get a certain amount of, you only get a certain amount of messages or weather, getting weather, things like that. But um, it's not very expensive, but it's, you can just do it per month. When you go and want to go out, you, you initiate it, and then you um, turn, it, uh, turn it off. So you're paying by a month. And then there's different levels of subscriptions. So you do have to go through that process. When you initiate your subscription, you do have to be in cell service. You can't be out in the mountains and go, oh, I want to initiate cell service, uh, uh, my subscription. You can't do that. You need to do it before you hit the mountains. I had to, when I was out, I had to go into town, which was only about seven miles away. It's a small town. There was cell, cell, uh, cell service there. And I was able to sit there at a restaurant and initiate the, the, the subscription. And then when I went back out, I had all the maps. Because when I when I was doing it before and didn't do the subscription, um, I hit the maps, but nothing showed up. So you do have to initiate it. And it's real simple, but be, you got to be in Wi-Fi or you got to be in cell service when you do it. So that's really it. It's an excellent device. You can see hides right there can't really see it and um, messages people it, it, there's so many there's so many things it does really well and I highly recommend it and I will do some comparisons with it and some other satellite messengers later but it's a great device I you know if you got it it's uh, and you got it over the Garmin or anything else I would never even I would never criticize anybody for that because every satellite messenger has its advantages and disadvantages but I'll tell you, every single one I have bought, even though there's limitations on some, they've all been good at what they do and what I've needed them for. And so just do some research. I've got a lot of different uh, articles and videos on my website. And I try to do, you know, give you field tests and show you what it's really like and, and what you've got to do to make them work properly and what's uh, good and, and bad about them. So take a look around and let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, I'll upload this soon, but uh, like and subscribe if you would. And uh, let me know what you think about these satellite messengers, and specifically on this one, this baby stick blue.